Hello YouTube and today we are going to be changing the brake pads on a Vauxhall Astra uh, 1.9 diesel 2013 so it's the J I think so um, first thing you need to do is get your wheel off and just inspect what you've got uh, so what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be taking this bolt out and then this bolt out then we'll reset the caliper, hang it up out of the way, remove the pads, put new hardware in, grease up new pads and stick it in, okay? So that's the plan. Let's see how this works out. So what I like to do first <clears throat> is uh, just give these bolts a little, little squirt of WD-40 because they've been on the car for a while and um, they can become quite stiff, so they're quite difficult to come off. Also, just get some gloves on, just because I don't like getting my hands dirty. So doing this yourself will save you quite a few quid to take to a garage. I'm going to be putting on Brembo pads. They were like uh, £60 or so, when I got them this morning, quickly. Right. So what we're going to need is a, is a 10 mil socket to undo that first, these two fixings with, yeah? So make sure your ratchet's set in lefty loosey. Get them on the fixtures and crack them off. Let's do spot on first. Nice and easy job. So get these out, put them in a safe place. Don't lose nothing. Or that'd be a nightmare. <coughs> Next, the caliper should just pull out, like so. And you want to try and get it in position where you're not pulling on the, the brake line because that's your brake line okay and then you're going to need something to compress something to compress this this cylinder piston sorry all right so you can either have a a brake compression kit like that i bought off amazon or a g clamp or some sort but something you need to apply a lot of pressure with so these kits come with loads of discs and stuff but really all you need, I've already done one side of the car, is to take your old brake pad off, plop it in, and then set the uh, compressor up. I'll just quickly get it on and I'll show you. So just get it set on there, and then just turn it by hand. This plate gets here, this turns down there, and then just turn it in until it's closed up. All right, just gonna set the camera back up down here while I do it. Hopefully you can still see it. There's so much you do it. So I don't make it look hard now. Turn it round. Sits better. Okay. Hope you can still see that okay. So it should turn fairly easily. 
I'm going to go tight and you know, that's in fair enough. Okay, just back it off and it'll slop out. So we do this because when your brake system's in running, it naturally compensates for the wear on the pads. So you just need to back over and back out to your new pads. When you get the new pads in, see that inside one's got quite a bit on wear on it. They'll be larger, so that won't fit on. Okay, let's get set back down. That was stage two. So make sure that's secure, your caliper's secure out of the way because you don't want that to fall off and damage your brake lines, okay? And then next, just remove your old pad so you should just pull out. Like so. And then keep them safe out of the way. Sometimes you might need a little bit of a lever, it's not a problem. So next you want to do, just here is the old brake hardware, because I've brought Brembo, that comes with new ones, so I always like to replace that, just again, just lever them off. They come off fairly easy. Put them in the waste pile. Nice and easy. Then I'm going to take a wire brush, and what I want to do is just give that all a little bit of a brush over to get any dirt or stuff on there yeah so starting with a caliper just give it a go bear in mind brake dust isn't good for you you should wear a mask try not to breathe it in do the caliper shoe as well Beautiful. Next we want our brakes. I've got some Brembo's here. Just look it open. This is the new brake hardware. So it just fits back on the same way as you took the other ones off. Only goes on one way, so you really can't get it wrong. Just push them on, make sure to sit flush, top and bottom. Got one upside down, silly billy. Perfect. So then you need to get your brake pads, your new ones. Um, best way to describe it. So one of the pads will have like a tab like this on it that goes on the inside. So, but if you can't get it wrong, if you hold it up, the shape to the disc, okay? And then the other ones obviously doesn't have that. So before we install them, just want to put a little bit of copper slip on the, just on the ends a little bit. And where the piston, on the piston side one, where the piston comes on, a little blob there. And again, a little blob on the end. And then just uh, smooth it over. Get it spread out nicely. Try not to get any on the brake material itself because you don't want grease on your brake pads. But this will this will uh, stop your brake squealing and stuff like that. So you get you know a better, just a nicer experience when you're driving. Okay. And try not to get your get your grease finger out of the way. Put them in. Make sure that's in there. And that should bring the last words, clip into place. And then same process with the other side. Just want it in the shoe. Try not to get grease everywhere. And then 
clip it in. And at this point here, I like to, because I I'm a, don't like it my hands dirty, and then they're all greasy, I like to change my gloves. about ready now to fit the caliper on but before we fit the caliper on I do like to put another little blob of a uh, copper slip just on the non-piston side so the outside again just to prevent a little bit of brake squeal all right so now reposition your caliper cal caliper back onto the caliper shoe line the bolts up and then those carefully placed bolts you can put over there, put them up, and refit them. So if your bolts are in bad condition, you should be able to get new ones. And if you've got any thread lock, just put a drop of that on there, just to make sure they won't come undone. that more off by hand nicely that way you're ensuring you've got them lined up you're not going to cross thread these bolts might need a little gentle persuasion there we go that's got it so you want to take 10 mil switch it from lefty loosey to righty tighty see that switch that over and we're going to tighten them up. So if you've got a torque wrench, you'll apply a torque wrench at the end. But I don't, because I've lent my torque wrenches to my friend. And he's yet to bring them back with my axle stands. But if you don't have one, you want to do, you want to do about three white knuckles, they'll call it, to tight, but not over tight. About there. Then we'll take the process on the bottom. Perfect. And that's it. We'll set our Jake brake pads changed. All that's left to do now is to unkink that hose because I've kinked the hose I might have to take it off today actually should check that first so make sure we don't kick that hose put the wheel back on tighten all your screws up I mean your lug nuts up take it off the jack torque your wheel nuts up start your motor pump the brakes a few times to settle the brake pads new pads on the discs Go for a little bit of test drive. Don't be braking hard like you do an emergency stop. That's not good. You just want to do some light, gentle braking to, just to break the manufacturing surface on it and bed them in. Yeah, once you've bed them in for about 100 miles, then you could do like a, a, a cycle where you'd go to 16 and brake as hard as you can, back to 60, brake as hard as you can. Do that three or four times. That'll put a heat cycle, a good heat cycle through the discs and the pads to help them bed in. All right. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. If you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. Cheers.